Hello people, in this video let us look at forceps. Basically, we are in obstetrics. <coughs> we are looking at operator vaginal delivery. So, you are using an instrument. In forceps usually will be metal, metal instrument to ex uh, assess the extraction of fetal head from where? From the uh, womb, from the uterus. You want to extract the fetal head. So, why do you want to extract this fetal head? Because of these reasons that they have given here. Mother is not able to push enough. Mother is exhausted. Mother has cardiac disease or preeclampsia, eclampsia, hypertension. She cannot exert. Or if there is fetal distress, you want to cut short the uh, second stage of labor. Or if the labor is already prolonged, then you definitely want to bring the baby out. So that is what is the indication for using of these uh, instrumental deliveries. Okay. To do this uh, in assisted um, or um, the vacuum, what am I saying, operative vaginal delivery, you should know that the fetal head should have engaged, the cervix must be dilated, you should have done an episiotomy, the membranes should have ruptured, then uh, you should know where the fetal head exactly is, the pelvis should be adequate, there should be no cephalopelvic disproportion, the bladder should be empty, the mother should have analgesia, right, she can have a regional block or a pudendal block. Right, uh, for uh, uh, forceps, you can, you have to give more anesthesia, analgesia, both you should give more, okay. You will have to give regional anesthesia or uh, general anesthesia. You should take consent, okay. Then uh, you should uh, have a neonatologist there to, uh, to look after the baby. Then what else? You should have aseptic uh, techniques. You should have experienced operator. Then uh, that's it, okay. Basically about forceps guys, you can uh, use it quickly, you can use it even for preterm baby, right, because you don't have to wait for the maturity of the complete head, etc, right. So you can use it at any gestational age, then you can use it even for breach, after coming head of breach, you can use the piper forceps there, you can use it for anterior, that is face presentation you can use. So that is all benefit of forceps. Then uh, the problem with uh, uh, this is that it causes, uh, it is a space occupying device, so it will need more space, so you will have the mother will have to accommodate this, right? So, for mother, there will be more injury. Then uh, she'll need more anesthesia, analgesia. She can have genital tract lacerations. She can have perineal injury. For the mother, the discomfort will be more, even postpartum, okay? And then this, uh, there are many types of forceps and this is a difficult thing to learn. That you have to learn which is left, which is right. You have to put the left first, then put the right and then lock it. Very uh, difficult to learn, okay. But the thing is, you can uh, use it quickly and you can even use it for preterm. Then this is having higher successful rate uh, uh, compared to vacuum delivery. Uh, the thing with uh, this is that the instrument of choice is actually vacuum, not forceps, okay, that you remember. The instrument of choice is actually vacuum, not forceps. This C, what they have written here, right? This is the instrument that they have a lot in the uh, in the operation theater, this one, in the uh, labor room, you can see. Basically, this is uh, the Wrigley's forceps, okay? Wrigley's, you remember. This one uh, is the most common one that uh, we have seen here, Wrigley's forceps. Now, this um, uh, Wrigley's is actually coming under the short curved forceps, okay? But anyways, uh, now what we'll do, we'll look at this long curved obstetric forceps and the parts of it. So look at the parts, basically you should know that there is a handle, everybody will say handle, there is a lock so that you can lock the right with the left, right, see, in this you can see, let us say this is left and this is right, okay, so it is locked here, right, and then what it has, it has some shank here, and uh, there are two curves that you should know, one is cephalic curve inside for the baby's head, and out, uh, this part of it is the pelvic curve, kind of uh, the outside part, you can say pelvic curve is there, that is for the maternal pelvis, right, there are two curves, cephalic curve, curve, pelvic curve, okay. So what we are interested in is Wrigley's uh, forceps because this is what we are using commonly, at least where, uh, where in our hospital. So the what is short about it, it is uh, there is reduction in the length of the shanks and the handle. Shank and handle is smaller, it seems shorter. So it is short curved obstetric forceps, only the length of the uh, shank and handle is less, okay. It has marked cephalic curve with slight pelvic curve, okay, cephalic curve will be more marked. Okay, that is only your Wrigley's forceps. So in forceps you have long, short, this much I have understood. Short will have short uh, handle and shank. Then what is this key land? Key land is the one which is used for rotation. This is used for rotation. But actually, uh, Ventos, vacuum delivery you can use for malrotated, unrotated head, head. Okay, forceps you can't use. For rotation, forceps is there any available? Key land forceps is available, okay, for rotation. 
डी इज देयर राइट दिस इज रोटेशनल फोर्स ओके सो नाउ यू कैन सी दैट देर इज लॉन्ग शॉर्ट नॉन रोटेशनल रोटेशनल फोर्स आर अवेलेबल हाउ टू अप्लाई द फोर्स गैस देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज आउटलेट फोर्स लो फोर्स मिड फोर्स सो दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वॉट इज दिस आउटलेट मीन्स द हेड इज ऑन द पेरीनियम ओके लो मीन्स द हेड इज नियर द पेलविक फ्लोर और ओके और इवन विजिबल एट द इंट्रॉइटिस मिड मीन्स a little more inside it is high means head is not engaged okay this type is not included so basically you should understand that there is outlet forceps low forceps mid forceps high high which is not there in the classification and what do we always hear from our doctors outlet forceps outlet forceps if somebody asks you what is curve of carus no it's nothing but pelvic curve okay pelvic curve is curve of carus so this release forceps uh, are exclusively used in outlet forcep operation so we'll uh, learn more about release only okay outlet forcep operation so uh, how to know uh, which blade is uh, left and right basically when you keep it on the floor or on the table you will know which is left and which is right okay so uh, that is the only way it will sit on the table then you pick up the left one and left one you will put inside and then after putting the left one they will put the right one and then lock it okay and then they will pull usually the traction is given during uterine contraction and remember guys episiotomy is must for instrumental delivery okay see this much if you know about forcep delivery it is enough okay you can use even for preterm then you can use it for face presentation after coming head of breech then uh, it's a space occupying device for baby it is fine but for mother it is bad right then uh, attraction force is uh, forces more in forceps than vacuum about 20 kg you can give for primary and for third about 13 in multi you need okay so there are many types of forceps for, there is something called as piper forcep okay piper forcep is used for the after coming head of uh, breech okay then uh, there is high rate of uh, successful vaginal delivery okay this should have been red right so a uh, high rate of successful vaginal delivery in forceps if vacuum fails you can use outlet forceps they are saying okay see we have written here you can use piper forceps for after coming head of breech okay what are the other names of forceps you learnt wrigley's is a short short what short curved obstetric forcep okay they have reduced to the shank and handle length that's it okay otherwise everything all the curves and all are fine That's it guys for now bye bye